Hey church fam, happy midweek. My name is Tiffany and I'm the worship leader here at Woodridge. Today, I wanted to talk to us a little bit about worship songs and specifically why it might be a good idea to look up the backstory of worship songs, finding out where the artists got their ideas for the song and why they wrote them. And I think one of the great things about knowing the backstory of a song is that it helps us to know what we're singing and that can help us in knowing why we are singing the song. And I think having a knowledge of a song and their lyrics can also help lead us to a deeper, richer, and more personal worship experience with God. And it kind of reminds me of how you got to know someone who is now your really good friend. The more you get to know that person, hear where they're from and how they grew up, getting their life story, you start to really appreciate and understand that person more, which leads to a strong friendship. And that's because you have a knowledge of who that person is. And again, I think the same thing can be said about a worship song. And so I thought it might be a fun thing for us to look into the backstory of a worship song to today and the song that I want us to get to know is one that we've sung many times at our church and has been sung since the 1800s and the song is How Great Thou Art. So let's jump right into the backstory of this song. So the original text came from a Swedish preacher named Carl Boberg, who was inspired to write the lyrics after his visit to a beautiful country estate on the southeast coast of Sweden. And he got caught in a midday thunderstorm with awe inspiring moments of flashing light and rolling thunder, followed by a clear, brilliant sun, where soon after he heard the calm, sweet songs of birds in nearby trees. And this experience prompted him to fall to his knees and humble adoration of his mighty God. And he began to write the nine stanza poem beginning with the Swedish words translated in English, O oh, great God, when I behold the world. And he said he wrote this poem to capture his exaltation of how great God is. And so now that we know a little bit of the backstory of how great thou art, I would like to invite you to sing a portion of this timeless hymn with me in hopes that it will mean a little bit more to you now that we know the how and why it came to be. Oh Lord thy God Thy hands are made. I see 